What's up everybody? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So I had the day off and I'm able to do some extra stuff for the Mustang today. It's not the most exciting video in the world, but I gotta do it. So today we're gonna be cleaning some stuff and we're gonna make a list of all the extra parts that I need to make this thing run and drive like motor mounts and stuff like that. So we'll be taking some stuff apart and then we'll be cleaning some stuff and then with my big old, my big fat Sharpie and a piece of paper we'll be um, showing everything that I need like just all the extra miscellaneous stuff that you don't calculate into how much everything costs but at the end of the day it's like a ton of money that you didn't think so um, we're gonna get right into it so after the intro I'm gonna show you exactly the first couple things that I need so let's get it Okay, so before we get into this, let's just say rest in peace to my rear main seal. Oh my goodness. This is so I gotta clean that, but I'm not gonna show you that because it's boring. But look at this. It's horrible. It's it's so bad. It's just like dripping out. I, oh, I don't even know how there's any more oil in there. So whatever. But so first we're gonna take off the headers I think that's gonna be my first order of business because I got to sand these down and paint them I mean it's not like they're gonna stay on the car very long but I might as well look nice while they're in there so we're gonna get these off Okay, so headers are off. That worked out well, so found a next thing that I gotta buy. So here, there's a lot to count, but I'm missing three um, header bolts. And these are like brand new ARP, so they, they fell out. That's not cool. But so there's the first thing I gotta buy, and I'll put it on my list. Second thing is I was gonna do this, but now that I'm looking at them, these motor mounts are destroyed. So that one's really bad. But wait for it, this one's even worse. It's like totally separated from the actual mount. So we're gonna get some Prothane ones and that'll fix that. So those are a couple things I gotta put on the list. We're not gonna mess with that right now. Then another thing that I was gonna throw on the list is a transmission mount, cause that one is a destroyed as well. So those are some things we gotta put on the list. Okay, so, uh, Trans mount motor mount header bolts. Okay, that's that. Okay, so changing the direction a little bit of the video, we're not gonna be doing any cleaning. We're just gonna be tearing apart the motor and getting all the pieces I need off of it and going from there because I got AutoZone engine degreaser and it don't work. It, I thought I was saving money and being smart, but at, in the end, I got played. So, um, we'll do all the cleaning on Saturday today. I'm just gonna tear down this old engine and get all the stuff I need off of it. So, let's get right into it. Okay, I just wanted to show you what I'm doing. So, all the injector harness is out. This plug is out. I don't know what it is. It's on this black uh, coolant EGR rail. And then, there's another wire that goes to your harness that goes to your 
I think it's like a purge solenoid on your charcoal canister wire. So I unplugged that and I don't know. I might get rid of it. I might not. I still don't know. But it's there. So those are the things that are on top of here. And I was just going to show you what I'm doing to get these things off. So here's my, uh, my harness. And what I've been doing is I pop them off. I cover that. And then I put the cylinder number on it. So this one was number two. And that's how I did all of them. And I just... That's the way I've been doing it, just so, just in case I forget, I, I can always go back. So all I've been doing to get these things off was, I just take my little screwdriver, pry up, is that a, yeah, I pry up on it, and then undo one side, and then I pry up on the other side, and then they just pull right off, and that's all I've been doing for that, so slowly but surely getting done, but um, I'm about to finish it. Okay, fuel injector harness is off. So I got all my fuel injectors with the numbers on them just in case I want to. I don't know what this was because it was unplugged when I took it off, so I got to do some research. And But everything else went off good. I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to be putting all new black or maybe even electrical tape it, something, because this is dirty and ugly and needs to be cleaned. So, But that's that. This is off. That's cool. So I think the next um, order of business is going to be taking the fuel inject or the fuel rail off. So I don't know if I'm going to be reusing it or not, but it, it, they say it can support up to 500 horsepower, but I don't even know if it'll fit on the new manifold. So I'm going to try it. I might, I, if I can save some money right now, I will, and I'll get the bigger fuel rails after I um, get the turbo. But for now, these would work. So we're going to see if they even fit, but I'm going to take it off and check it. And then the other thing is this EGR um, rail thing. I don't know what it is. I'm going to have to look it up, but I'm going to take it off. I don't know if I'll use it or not, but I, you know what? It's better to have it off and make that decision later. So I'm going to take it off. I'm going to take the fuel rail off, and then I will um, touch base with you guys. Okay, so I made some headway with the engine. Um, let me show you what I did. Uh, I got the that one coolant line off, and then I was able to get the fuel injectors and the fuel lines off, and... I think really, oh, and the alternator bracket and all that fun stuff, because I will be reusing that, and all of it needs to be cleaned, and I think I'm going to paint it all satin black. So uh, let me let me show you. It's just better that way. Okay. Okay, so I got the alternator bracket off. That was um, three bolts, I think. There was, uh, oh, now I can't remember. I'm pretty sure, okay. So I got the alternator bracket off, and it was three bolts, and then there was two bolts on the bottom for the air pump, and we're throwing the air pump in the garbage. It's in the garbage pile. So that's bye bye. But so I got that off. And then the three bolts for the alternator bracket came off. And I'll show you that. So here's the alternator bracket. So there's a bolt there, a bolt there, a bolt there. And one of them's a 14, the other two are 13s uh, millimeters, that is. And then this is for the air pump. And I don't think I need it. I just. I kept it just in case, I don't know. So, but that's that. And um, let me go back to the engine. So back at the engine, we got the fuel rails off. And so it's just four uh, eight millimeter uh, bolts. So there's one, two, and then the three and the four. And so those came off right nice and easy. And you just pull up on the fuel rails and it's done. And then, oh, and then the little EGR thing right here. So this is kind of weird how this works is there's one bolt that goes, or nut that goes on here just like that and then you pull up on the bracket and the way you do this is you put a one inch wrench on the top and then a seven eighths on the bottom and you crank that seven eighths till the thing pops out and it's really brittle so you gotta be careful so for this guy and if you're reusing this you're gonna wanna take it with some caution cause I bent mine up a little bit so you put a one inch on the top wrench and then the seven eighths right here and then so you hold this still and you crank on the 7 8 loose until it pops off and then it comes off nice and easy. Um, that, I don't know if I'm keeping or not. I might just use AN lines, but I don't know about that sensor. I gotta find out what that sensor is. So, after I do that, if I'm gonna use it, I will be painting it and making it look nice and pretty. But, um, I think the last thing I gotta take off is the pulleys for the engine. So all I gotta do is take the pulleys off, because these are aftermarket pulleys. I think they're SVE pulleys. And so, Oh, we'll take that one off, that one off, and that should be fairly simple. I will be reusing this back bracket for the AC, but I'm not going to take that off because I want to make sure I know where it, what it looks like. So otherwise, that's it. Oh, and the other thing is, I am reusing my distributor, but I'm going to leave it in until I get to that point. I'm just, I have, I'm going to get a new cap, new rotor, 
and then new I have new plug wires and I have brand new plugs so I'm not worrying too much about that uh, yeah oh on a side note a bird made a nest in my engine I was trying to figure out what it was and then there was a chicken bone in there this was the chicken bone that was on top of my engine so it must have been a big bird or something well, what is this like a big chicken bone so that was interesting just living in my engine having fun having a good old time with his bird friends and such okay I almost didn't show you the fuel engine or fuel rail so the fuel rail came off nice and easy the lines look pretty good everything here is up to code except for my fuel injectors they look how dirty that is that can't be good I'm gonna take those pulleys off real quick and then clean up this disaster this, look at this oh my god so after I get this cleaned up uh, and get the pulleys off I'll tell you what's going on but that might be it for the day um, I might go on late mall restoration and spend all the money that I don't want to well I kind of do it's like a love-hate thing I like I like spending money cuz I get fun stuff but then don't like spending money cuz it's, it's losing money all right so there's the engine all stripped down I think I got everything that I need off of it so all that's left is the distributor and that's it but otherwise it looks good so that's taken apart and it's ready to rock or that's ready to go away and this one's ready to go in so I'm excited I'll, after I clean everything I'll start bolting all the stuff back on or all the new all the old new stuff <laughs> I will be bolting back onto this engine and getting ready okay and while I was messing around and looking at stuff I uh, my list got longer and I had instant regret after I started making all the letters so big or writing so big because I was trying to make it so everybody could see it and then I ran out of space and I had to start writing on the back but whatever so I got the trans mount motor mounts header bolts header gaskets that's conventional oil for startup and then I need engine paint um, the manifold filler neck so for the um, the coolant to go in right and then I need a new thermostat and then a ground wire because as you can see right there it's not supposed to be like that not at all so that needs to be changed out and I need two kinds of engine paints I need the engine paint which is gonna be like a satin black and then I actually need um, like the engine bay paint which will be the same color as the car which it'll be a, a chore to move all this stuff around and make sure I can clean it or I'll paint it right but still I gotta get that done nonetheless oh and then I didn't say I need header paint too because those guys are getting repainted there's a lot of stuff to do honestly I thought this was gonna be a lot shorter than it was but there's a ton of stuff to do in here. All right, everybody, that's gonna be the end of today's video. I know it wasn't like super intense or that cool or anything, but it had to be done. I had to get this stuff out of the way so I could get the engine back in. So it's just another step of the process and I'm trying to document every single part that I can to make it detailed. I'm trying to make it as detailed as I possibly can. So if you're doing it at home, you can see what I did and you can kind of go off of it and it makes it a little bit easier for the next guy. So. But that's the end. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment anything. It doesn't matter what you comment. Just comment something. It helps me. So, But thank you for supporting. Thank you for all the new subscribers on the channel. Thank you for the old subscribers on the channel. But thank you for all the support. It's been great. We're growing way faster than I thought. But it's super duper appreciated. So again, thanks guys. And I'll catch you next time. Everybody's low. These are the days when it Every day is a winding road. Can we live closer?